Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome to the Falconeer. I got this game free on the Epic Game Store last week and I am surprised I like it so much. It has caught me by surprise. This game is excellent and I thought I would share it with you. So let's get started. Now we're going to play on hardcore for this demonstration. But I want to talk about a little bit about this game first. It is made by one person. One person has made this game a few years ago. I think it's three or four years ago. And they have a new game out called Bulwark that takes place in the same universe. And the world building in this universe is fantastic. I think the developer has done an excellent job. I am hooked and I want to play more. So here we go. Let's get started. When we were young in this place, the Falconeers were messengers and guardians. They carried memories and spirits to the beyond. Now those origins are lost and their lives and memories are lost to battle. But you can learn from them, their memories soaring through the clouds above the seas. Let us find out what stories remain in these splintered fragments the currents have brought us. Imperial Peak is the Imperial Seat, the highest attainable seat in the Empire. Towering over Imperial Harbor and the Ursi, its inhabitants are blinded to the plight of those below. Only those who serve the Empress ever perch on its balconies or set foot on its marble floors. All right, this is sort of the tutorial introduction mission, so let's start at the prologue. Choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? Now, let's see. We need to do some character customization, or at least pick a character. Let's pick that guy. And I don't think we can... Oh, we can pick in between a male and a female here. Perfect. As the son of a lesser noble, being accepted for training by the warbird forces of the Imperium is a great honor. A chance for your house to rise in standing. Your aptitude with the bird in combat is clear, and you are a rising star. However, tragedy strikes, and your family loses its ships and holdings to the Freebooter Rebellion. With your commission as an officer lost, your only route forward is as an Imperial privateer. You fight the Imperium's enemies as an independent asset. You are a privateer. A little backstory. The lore is just fantastic. I am addicted to it. It's great. Ascend now, Falconeer. Let's do it. Attention applicants. Your Empress needs you. With these incidents, east of Dunkel, and the Freebooter threat, we have fallen on desperate times. If successful, you'll be part of a new garrison at the Imperial Peak. Many of you will fail these tests. Only the very best can serve at this post. Today we start with simple performance assessments for each of you. The Empress has an appointment at her Thunderstrike flagship at the exact time. So no wandering off or deviating from the flight plan. There will be repercussions if you do. Good luck. Morning, Greenhorn. Let's see you fly that warbird. Start off with a slow dive. Chop chop. There it is. Diving accelerates your bird and generates energy for special maneuvers. Your bird is energized for dashes and rolls. Show me a strong dash. Now let me see some evasive rolling. You can do this by dashing while turning. You have good control of your warbird. Now let's see how observant you are. Imperial Harbor is just south of the Imperial Peak. Head there. Follow the line on your minimap or use the golden target on your compass for guidance. I love this universe. It's so nice. Look at the cities. You can build these cities in his other game, Bullworth. It looks amazing. I will be playing that for sure at some point. Let's see what the mission has in store for us. At the next waypoint, we'll practice targeting and focusing. There is a barge up ahead. Find it and stay locked on. Turn around here.
X. The barge has a turret. Consider it a sub-target. Lock onto that for accuracy. Your weapon will indicate when it is aligned with a locked-on target. If the target lock indicators are blinking, it should feel like the weapon is aiming itself. Not bad. Now open fire. Destroy the turret and the ship. Keep your eyes on the target for each pass. Nice work. Your weapon is a valuable relic. We'll need to recharge it from a nearby thunderstorm. Be careful. There are neutral traders, friendly patrols, and airships around at this time. Do not fire on them. Your compass will display friendlies as white and blue, while any hostiles will show up in red. Take a look at this. Just... Oh, it's so nice. I love it. The controls are really smooth. If you've played, like, Crimson Skies or some of those older dogfighting games, this is just like it. It's arcadey, but just flying around, it's very relaxing, I find. I love it so much. It's been a lot of fun playing so far. Let's talk to this guy. We are taking our cargo to fly into the clouds to attract the lightning. At any sign of overheating, dive towards the ocean to cool down. All right, let's try this. More ammo pots are glowing at the back of your bird. Perhaps you will make it to the guards after all. Not too shabby. Let's head back to the palace. There we go. Head back to the palace. So this is stop and... There we go. I just want to get used to the fi flying. I want to master it. Oh, very cool. Very Stay cool. Too busy. Return when you're more available for some escort work. Stay alert. Warbirds near the Imperial flagship. Pirate side wager. Weapons free. Use deadly force! No! There's one gone. Oh, there's our flagship. Remember, track the targets, aim ahead of their trajectory, and roll your bird to avoid incoming fire. On. Well done. Beautiful. Focus on where the traces are landing, not your gun sight. Shooting while turning will radically change where your shots land. Remember, we weave and turn to get behind our targets. Get behind your target and only then fire. Will do. Oh, here is. What's this? Yikes. Boom, goodbye. Oh my gosh. 
There's a dragon. There's a dragon. No. What are you doing? Think you're in a rifle squad? You don't have time to sit nice and still, waiting for the perfect aim. I'll give you turret duty if you keep this up. Turn and get behind your target. Don't ever break. Speed is our weapon. The Imperial flagship. No. The Empress. You traitors. Death is meaningless for us all. Now we can be reborn from the depths. Memories retained as splinters of our fractured self. But we fear the other, that which remains tied to us. We must become the other, relive the lives of those lost. In order to discover the truth, we must start at the beginning with an ambitious heart. A first heartbeat will grow into a thousand consequences. A good position amongst several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor, Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. All right, this is the first chapter of the game. Let's try this out. Choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? That looks like a good avatar right there. We are going to stay with that. As a falconeer, you are the last of a long line. Few remain, but your parents managed to save your family's armor. Shot glance and the decree granting your family the title. When a trader from the Mongrese province offers a rare young falcon hatchling, your father trades his meager holdings for it. Your childhood days spent training to become a servant of your community, a servant of honor. You are a falconeer, bound to an ancient code. All right, we are a level zero falconeer. Our bird is not nearly as powerful as the one we just had. I think we were meant to lose that fight. The princess has been killed, or at least there her mothership has been shot down her flagship so ascend now falconeer i think that lays the groundwork for how the story progresses from here so let's try this out on the earth the imperial houses rule the mansar order researches maintains and controls technology and the common people well they do the work fish the earthy trade between its settlements, and ultimately always suffer from the fragile balance of power between the Imperium and the Mansa Order. Few people are more aware of this than the people of Dunkel, a speck on the Earthy, and barely a glimmer on the titanic struggles of the Great Houses. This part of the Earthy has been plagued by pirates and criminals who find a welcome home far enough away from the Imperial law to do as they please some lore and i really like it like i was saying the developer has uh some great world building skills here i hope to see more games in this universe and i can't wait to play his new game the bulwark it's gonna be awesome anyways let's take a look at what kind of missions we have here any greenhorn must get familiar with our holdings and our neighbors you will start with a white patrol acclimatize yourself with the area and deal with any threats so this is the main storyline here the story mission i'm going to skip that for a while because i really want to just explore and fly around the flying around mechanics are fantastic the exploring is great the world is relaxing you know i don't even use the fast travel because i think the flying around is so much fun it's very easy it's very arcadey but i like it a lot for some reason you're new here I've selected a number of tasks and locations that are important for you to be aware of. All right, let's go into, let's try these out here. We're going to do some bomber training since we are brand new Falconeers. We have someone dropping mines over trade routes going into Dunkel. This is a good opportunity for you to learn some handy tricks. So splinters there, we get 300. That's pretty much the gold in the game, splinters. And it's got one skull on the pirate rating. I think that is pretty easy. The more skulls, the harder the mission gets. So let's try this out. We'll head for the mines. 
turn around, we'll follow the yellow line on our mini map. There they are! Dive into the water close to a mine and your bird will pick it up. Let's grab one, there's one right here. Excellent! Drop it on something solid where it can do no harm. Just keep a good distance. They are explosive. Let's after try this all. off. You can also try and bounce them. Build some speed, and the mine will bounce in the direction you're heading in. Oh, that looks so awesome. Check that out. I can just sit and look at this all day, you know? There's something about it. The ocean, flying a bird, it's very nice. Let's go back and pick up another mine from the water, it says. Here is one right here. Let's grab this guy. We don't have any big cannons or mortars here at Dunkel. We like to borrow these mines to do some heavy damage when needed. Throw the remaining mines so they explode. Don't hit anyone. Then we can head back. All right, let's drop one right here. Ah. Uh, they didn't just get destroyed. Can I shoot it? Oof. It hit. Oh, I almost killed me. Look at that. It almost killed me. I didn't know that would happen. Alright, we gotta be more careful. We gotta be more careful than that. Let's get some stamina or some energy back. And then we'll try to do the dash here and we'll drop it and see if it skips onto here. Yes. Sorry as I get used to flying here. Let me go over here, and we are going to drop it over here again. Mission complete. Now, wait a second. There's some fish here. We've got a fish. We can get our health back. It's a lot of fun flying around. There is these tornado-y things here, updrafts. And it gives you all your energy back and everything else. So there is there is some good mechanics here to play with and to master. Well done. We need to be inventive with the pirate threat. You're not going to see any Imperials lobbing mines around, that's for sure. It's a damn fine tactic against pirates, even if it is embarrassing. Thank you. So we got 300 splinters for that. You're new here. I've selected a number of tasks and locations that are important for you to be aware of. Thank you very much. Let's do the next one. Jet streams, updrafts, and fish. I've noticed you've been relying on your birds diving to build up speed and energy. How about you find some updrafts to boost you along instead? Or even hitch a ride on a jet stream? I also want to see you do some fishing and feed your bird. Alright. We've done some of that already, but let's do it again. Any, any excuse for me to go fly in this bird is all I need. The updraft here... Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I think there's going to be an updraft right here. Yes, there is. There is the up arrows there. Let's see what we have over here. We want to get into the jet stream. There is the jet stream right here. Let's try this out. Okay. 
There we go. And now the last one is probably fish. And there's some fish right there. Oh, I missed it. Let's see. This is a little bit tough to get, actually, these fish. Let's see. Where are you? Right there. Let's see. I, m I overshot it that time. You got to get it right in the middle of the school, I think. And there's red fish and there's blue fish. The red give healing and the blue give energy, I think. Let's try this again here. There we go. So I was full health there. Let's see if we can find some blue ones. There's some more red ones, some more red ones. Where's some blue ones? Mission complete, but I want to try this. Where are blue fish? There should be all over the place, you know? There's some more red ones. Just flying around is so nice. Look at this place. I wonder what this is here. Let's talk to this we person. Walk the path together, friend. There we are. We can probably land there and they have missions and all that and there's a bunch of other things that they do. There's uh, different places to upgrade your bird, upgrade your weapons. So there's a lot happening for sure. Oh, we got another question mark here. Let's go see what this is while we're flying home. And if we can see some blue... Oh, look at this building. The Carto home. Let's go over here. Let's check the map real quick. World map. Even the Mansa Order must loosen the leash on knowledge to allow the people safe passage. The map makers explore and chart the Ursi. But a line on paper does not cement the shoreline of our ever-changing world. So you can see in the corner there, there's one of 14 shrines, four to 28 settlements. There's 13 fortified locations, one weapon shop, three uh, sea chantresses, two biochemists, and six time trials. So there's a lot of stuff on the map, and every place has its own. A good position among several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor, Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control, and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. Very cool. Each one has its own little flavor text, so it's very, very nice. Very nice. And again, I am right into the lore. I think it's fantastic. I want to learn more about what's going on. I want to know the story. Then I want to continue in Bulwark and see how that goes. I'm excited. I'm excited to proceed. Now, what do we have? We're going to land here. Great. We need falconeers that can use the environment to their advantage. Very nice. We are level one there. You're new here. Let's see. Now there is a there is a shop here. We can buy some lightning pots, some Stark blood. Again, I'm not exactly sure what is happening, but what all this stuff is. But we're going to learn as together. A Dunkel permit. I think if we buy this, we can get more things. Let's put this in here. We'll buy the permit. And I have a nest of young warbirds. So if we do the race, the time trial here, and fly the course fast enough, he can sell us a bird. 
and I think we've got more stuff here. Yeah, we've got more stuff to buy since we bought that. What was it? What did we buy here? The permit. There's also, there's weapons here, worn. There's different degrees. There's a damaged weapon, worn weapon. You know, this is used, subtle, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on here. You're new here. I've selected a number of tasks. Let's try this biochemist supplies. The biochemists at Kythera have sent out a request for supplies. Make sure they get them. You'll find their services tempting, but I've yet to see a warbird look better after their treatments. Very nice. Let's do this. Now, if you don't find the traveling as fascinating as I do, I love flying around and I don't want to use the fast travel very often, but we can always fast travel here. And here we are. Oh, there is a whale there. Beautiful. And there is our destination. I'm not going to be using the fast travel a whole bunch because I really do want to just explore and fly around. Ah, fresh supplies and just in time. We've got something brewing that needs them. As a token of our appreciation, you'll pay us a visit in the future and we can vastly improve the power and abilities of your warbird. The Imperium relies on our services to maintain the upper hand in combat. And so should you. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Let's actually go and see if we can land on this again and take a look at what they have for sale here. Yeah, here we go. So we got a bunch of mutagens here. So the permanent fear response, improving the agility of your warbird, corrupting, toxic this one allows the bird to regenerate over time so it heals itself this one might not be a bad idea but i'm gonna save this because i want to get a different bird pretty soon let's fly over let's fly back home here now i'm not gonna use fast travel on the way home oh wait a second we have some of these bluefish here. Oh, I missed. Let's see. We are low on stamina here. I missed again. I want to get this. I want to see if these blue ones actually do what I think they do. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Sorry about this. Let's try this one more time. These fish are hard to catch. Oh, missed it again, I think. One more time. One more time. Sorry. Sorry. I'm determined. I'm determined to get it. There we go. Eat it. And yes, you can see that my energy has gone up. If you... Mastering it would be a good thing, you know. If you're fighting and you see a school of fish and you're low on health or and you can grab them real quick. Because you can do, like, you know... You can do this move right in there if you can aim it perfectly, right? Here we go. Let's grab this. There is another wind thing here. Oh, I love it. It's so good. It's really good.
Okay. We're taking our cargo to our destination. I think in chapter one there is no war Stay happening. Busy. Return when you are more available for some escort work. But in the other chapters, I believe that there is wars happening, so there is a lot of stuff happening that wouldn't that would affect the game in the map. I'm not too sure. I finished the chapter one just playing around on the free game that I got, and then I bought the developers the entire library because I liked it so much. And so I haven't gone really into chapter two yet or anything. Oh, the clouds and everything, they look magnificent. They really do. I really like it. Let's continue on flying here. There's something so relaxing about it. I could just sit here and watch this all day. I think we are almost there. Yes, here we are. No, oh, I missed the landing and the boat hit me. I grab the landing here. We continue to keep the biochemists at me, but be wary of them. They're a strange lot in a strange place. I got another 300 splinters. Very nice. Any greenhorn must get familiar. But we're going to call that an episode for today. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.